Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 723. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link directly below this video. In this video here, we want to count. Here are our um, cust here's the customer name, GG, and we want to count how many there are. Now we're in this workbook, 722 to 726. Alt tab. I come over to my other open file. Actually, if you have lots of files and you want to just go jump between open workbooks, you can use Control tab. Here's another workbook, customers and second workbook. Here they are. Control tab, no problem. We can use count if. We're going to see a problem with count if, but this is what most people do, including myself. Count if. Now where's the range? It's over in the other workbook, so Control tab highlight the range. Notice when you do a, this is called a workbook reference, it puts in square brackets the name of the workbook. Explanation point means it's from, that's a sheet reference that tells you it's a sheet. So the data is in this workbook on this sheet and there's the range. I'm going to type up in the formula, I'm just going to type comma and then my criteria is an A2 so I'm going to type A2. You can see it for me there, close parentheses and now I'm going to hit enter. No problem, it counted GG. Control tab, I can verify one, two, three, four. All right, what happens though, I'm gonna control S. What happens if I close this workbook right here? Control S and I'm gonna close it. Then I'm gonna either close this one and reopen it, or uh, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to close it. Now I'm going to go up to file. I'm in 2010, file recent. Recent is also in 2007. And there it is. I'm going to open this one right here. It says um, update links. I'm going to say don't update. It um, will keep the value from before, but most of the times you want to update. So what would happen if we update? I'm just going to put it in edit mode and down. You get a value error. And the reason why is count if, sum if average if, sum ifs, count ifs, all those functions cannot handle arrays. And anytime you have a workbook reference and the workbook is closed, count if thinks it's an array and it just can't handle it. Now the interesting thing is, is if you open up the workbook, let's go ahead and open it. Uh, there it is, customers, control tab. You can see that it will work, so no problem. It'll always work when the workbook is open. But lots of times people do not have this other workbook open and so we need an alternative that will work. Some product. Some product. We can simply do a true false count. Um, now let's go ahead and do our true false count. I'm just going to highlight control tab. Um, I think I clicked, no that's not going to work. How about Oh, I don't have my other workbook open, so I'm going to have to click Escape, File, Customers. Now I can come over here, equals some product, equals sum. All right, now I'm going to Control Tab, highlight this range. Notice it is uh, forming up here. I'm going to type equals and then A2. Now I'm going to close parentheses and this won't work, but I'm going to hit Enter. The reason why is because, and you can highlight this this range and hit the F9 key. You can see it properly does trues and falses and there's a true four trues, but some product does not count true and false, control Z. So there's many ways to convert trues and falses to ones and zeros. I'm going to use the double negative. Any operation um, on that series of trues and falses will convert it to ones and zeros. I'm just going to use the double negative because that is the fastest calculating. And I had to put parentheses because the um, unitary operator uh, minus is calculated before in the order of precedence or order of operations before the comparative operator equal sign. So that's why you got to put it in parentheses to force that equals to create the true falses and then the uh, unitary operator double negative will calculate. No problem, I'm going to control S, control tab, I'm going to close this, um, put that into edit mode, put this into edit mode, boom, there it is. So if you're doing workbook references and uh, instead of count if or sum if or any of those, might consider some product. All right, we'll see you next trick.